what's up youtube welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new we're back with another tutorial i mean i can't even call it a tutorial because i didn't film the duck nail application process and i'm so sorry for that y'all i honestly did not film it because i didn't think i was gonna like it like i was just playing with these tips i was playing with the acrylic but um yeah i'm sorry but getting right into the design, I'm going in with my base coat from Ruby Nail Products and going over all of the nails with this. This acrylic color is called Charisse or Cerise from Nail House. I'll put it up on the screen. I actually plan on buying some more Nail House acrylics because I purchased four and it was my first time purchasing from them. And the four that I bought, I really, really love. So I definitely want to buy some more Nail House acrylics. They're so buttery. They're so easy to work with. And they have amazing colors and glitters. So yeah, you'll be seeing me work a lot more with some Nail House, Nail House acrylics. Also, their 100% um, acrylic brush is freaking amazing. I'll be using that in this video as well. And it's been my main brush lately. I do also have a brush from Ruby Nail Products. Both of them are size 14s, but the one from Ruby Nail Products is um, slightly smaller. But I do, I do really love it. I just always like to work with a larger brush. But both of them are really, really great. But again, in this video, I am working with the brush from Nail House, and I was able to get this brush 50% off, y'all. I don't know what. I don't know if it was a holiday or. I don't know, it was just a random day and somebody had posted that Nail House is having a 50% off sale. I fucking ran. No, I keep coming on here, Kirsten. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm talking to y'all like I'm talking to y'all like in the street, like in my house. But anyway, I ran to the website and I put it in order and yeah, so I got a brush, four other um, acrylics and then a top coat and a, no, a shiny top coat and a matte top coat. Also, really quick, y'all, don't ask me why I have that hair tie around my wrist. I don't know why I came on here like that. <laughs> and I did not realize until literally a few seconds ago. But ignore that and also ignore my fingernails. I was in the process of removing that set and I usually work with gloves, but um, I just wasn't working with gloves this time, obviously. So yeah, ignore my pinky nail that's not done and all the other nails that are just chopped off. So finishing up with the base coat, y'all, I'm still still getting used to these voiceovers, so I've just, I literally just rambled for the first two and a half minutes of this video, but it's okay. So getting into the colors, so the set is a duck nail set, obviously. I wanted to do a duck set, like I wanted to put a little ducky on there, so as you can see from the thumbnail. I also wanted to work with water designs or like, I wanted to put some type of indication or some type of representation <laughs> what's the word i'm looking for i wanted to throw water in there in different ways hence the bubbles and hence the water design that i'm finna do right now so god i'm so bad at explaining shit my bad <laughs> let me focus okay so this first nail we're gonna take the colors that i mixed up and paint the entire nail blue so this is the the water effect or the water design that pretty much trends every summer um, you do a layer, well, y'all will see what I'm gonna do, so there's no point in me, <laughs> there's no point in me trying to go faster than the video. So I'm gonna let this part just play out, and then I'll pop back in for the next step. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my top coat and white gel from Ruby Nail Products. This part was kind of tricky. I did have to make this mix like two or three times because I kept using too much white. So I learned that the trick was to use more top coat than white, put like a little dab of white. And if you find that you need a little bit more white, just gradually add a little bit more, but start off with a little bit of white. And you're gonna want that milky, y'all know what kind of consistency that look like. <laughs> It needs to look like that. Put a nice little layer of that over the nail. Do not cure. You guys, don't cure. Put you some more top coat out on your palette. Grab you a dotting tool, and with that dotting tool, just place dots all over the nail. It's simple. It's I'm not gonna explain further <laughs> because y'all see what I'm doing, and it's gonna slowly form like bubbles, or it's gonna, I don't, y'all see what it's doing bubble like water like effect and there's no wrong way to do this you're just going in and adding 
you know dots wherever there's a room to add a dot if there's a small space add a smaller dot if it's a large space add a larger dot or whatever you want to do but just have fun with it get creative Moving on to the middle finger, I went in with this white gel from Ruby Nail Products. It is a thicker gel, which was perfect because I kind of wanted these bubbles to be like thick, I guess. I wanted them to have some dimension. I wanted them to look like they were raising up from the nail. So that's why I used a thicker white gel instead of like a regular gel. This gel is perfect for that. It's super white, very pigmented. I love the thickness of it. This is perfect for like line art or any type of nail art this gel i love gel pods this is actually my first time using a gel pod um so i do plan on getting some more in different colors but yeah i just went in with a brush and just put it all over the nail no particular way i kind of was just playing with this i didn't know how this was gonna turn out and then i got a water bottle put some soap in it soap and water shook it up got some bubble suds and placed the bubble onto the white parts of the nail or pretty much the entire nail i couldn't only just get it on the white parts obviously but i put it all over my nail and i placed it in my lamp for about 30 seconds let that cure wiped it off and this is what we came out with now i love the design like i loved how it was bubbles on my nails but i don't know it kind of looked like cow print so it didn't look like i don't know i don't know how it was supposed to look but i guess it was fine but moving on to the next nail, I just wanted to do pretty much the same thing I did with the pointer finger with the water effect, but I did it just as a French design. So I'm going to go ahead and let this part play out and then I'll pop back in. So I am doing this voiceover, but I filmed this video probably like two, two and a half weeks ago. And y'all, I probably have two or three, no, three more other videos that are pretty much edited, but are waiting for voiceovers. And y'all, it's so hard to sit and find the time and record these voiceovers. And y'all, well, y'all, I don't know if y'all know, but many of you guys know that I do live in my van. So, and I, it's because I travel for work. So like, I can't just go into the next room and sit down and do a voiceover. Like, yeah, I can record it in my van, but this microphone or this, the way I like to record, which is with my headset, it'll pick up traffic outside. It'll pick up birds. It'll pick up, it, I feel like it, it's just too distracting. And especially if we have like the van running, like the engine running with the AC on and the air blowing like it's just a lot you guys it's a lot and I'm not making excuses but or maybe I am making excuses <laughs> but um yeah it's just I have so much content to post but they don't have voiceovers so my question to you guys is do you guys like watching videos without voiceovers or with because if you guys don't care for my voiceovers, I can just post, post my tutorials with just some music playing. And y'all could just rock out to those. And I could just throw these next videos right out, you know? You know? So let me know down below if you guys like my voiceovers. <laughs> and if you don't like them, and I'm dead ass, like if you don't like them, let me know. You know, I don't want to waste y'all's time or mine. But anyway, moving on. Um, I basically started on the thumbnail obviously and I'm doing the same thing that I did on the middle finger with the French and the water effect so I'm gonna let that play out Thank you. 
pretty. How cute are these nails? Right? I don't know how I feel about duckies. But I like these. Okay. So going in with these little duck charms that I got from Timu or Shein. Y'all already know I'm always going to be like Timu or Shein. That's, that's the sentence. Y'all already know after I record the voiceover, I come back and I place pictures or video of whatever I'm using onto the screen, which would have already been shown by now. Then I go in with my McCart rhinestone glue and I glue my charm right onto there. I do this for the middle, my bad, not the middle, the ring finger and the thumb. Okay, y'all, so I thought it would be really cute to put my little rubber ducky in some bubbles. I might have went a little overboard, like, he looked like he was sitting on, like, icebergs or, like, I don't know, like, lightning. I don't know, but it didn't really matter to him. He was happy to be, he was just happy to be in some bubbles. Going in with my good old IBD gel that I freaking love. That was extra. No, but that ass, I love IBD gel. Get you some. I went in on this nail with some IBD gel. I did like a little line going down because y'all already know I'm finna do me a line bling because that's what I always resort to. Little line bling placement. Still working on placement. Like I told you guys in another video. Still practicing my placement of crystals. This one's act. These are actually different. This is different than what I usually do. But I'm going in with my crystals, my Serenity crystals from Boost G Crystals. And I'm just doing this on my pointer finger and my pinky finger. I didn't want to do any much more because we've got bubbles, we've got water, we've got ducks. So I was like, let me just throw some bling on these two. two the, blah, blah, blah. Let me put some bling on these two nails and call it a day. So that's what I did. And I think they came out freaking amazing. I went in with my Ruby Nail Products top coat. I top coated everything. I don't know how I feel about top coat over all the um, bubbles. But I don't think I had a choice because I think that kind of, I can't remember if that had a tacky layer. That was my first time using it. I think it had a tacky layer. That's why I was like, nah, I have to top coat it. So yeah, I top coated all of that, carefully top coated around my crystal. Make sure you guys are wiping the sides of your nails after top coating, pretty much after every freaking layer of gel because you don't want all that gel build up on the sides. It will kill the crisp of your nails. All of that hard work you put into shaping your nails, that gel will humble and disrespect you if you don't wipe the sides. So always remember that. Um, as well as a free edge. Also, wipe your crystals, y'all. Wipe them down. Get all them fingerprints off of there. And you can wipe them down with alcohol. I sometimes go as far as <laughs> wiping them down with glass cleaner. My dad has this vinegar water mix glass cleaner that I use, and my crystals shine. Throw your cuticle oil on there. And here are the nails. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give me a like, a comment, definitely subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.